Hi, everyone. Welcome to this month's Life in the Edge podcast. This month, we're looking at the topic of the managing and monitoring of remote endpoints. And we're talking to our friends from ControlUp. And on this episode, I have Trenton and Shai from ControlUp, and we talk about their new technologies, Remote DX and Edge DX. I really hope you enjoy the episode. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, post any comments. Thanks very much. Bye. Welcome, everyone, to the latest episode of IGEL's Life in the Ed pod podcast. Uh, this month, we're featuring ControlUp, and I've got Trenton and Shay from ControlUp. So, guys, you want to give a brief intro? Um, yeah. Hi. Thank you, James. Uh, my name is Shay. I'm a lead product management in ControlUp, um, responsible um, mainly for uh, Solve, our new product launched this year. And I took part of the integration uh, for Remote DX uh, that we're going to discuss this meeting. And my name is Trent Tire. I work for the technical marketing team within Control Up. Thanks very much, guys. So, um, as we all as we all know, you know we've we've had this massive deployment of endpoints uh, to users all over the place as as a result of of COVID. And you know uh, what we wanted to focus on today is obviously your two new solutions, um, Remote DX and um, Edge DX. Can you tell us a bit more about them, Trenton? Yeah, absolutely. So Remote DX is a, a feature of a real-time console, and we kind of really view it as uh, a solution to all those users who are BYOD, um, and that includes um, you know people who've who are working remote now who have iGEL devices or that they're plugging into their existing laptops or desktops to get connectivity back to the data center. So what Remote DX is, it's a extension to Citrix and Horizon clients right now that uh, create a virtual channel driver or a virtual channel. And then we send some packets down to get some data about your remote uh, location, just about mostly about Wi-Fi statistics and some ping statistics and stuff like that that we can go over. Um, and then we bring that data back to you. So essentially we're solving that problem of uh, users complaining that there's slow performance and how you can help troubleshoot them by without flying blind into it. Uh, so that's Remote DX and Edge DX is one of our new exciting offerings for Edge devices. Uh, and again, for both of these solutions, we support iGEL right out of the box. And for Edge DX, it gives you much more control over the device. So with this one, we kind of view more for managed devices, so things that your IT department send out. Um, and in that particular instance, we give essentially full control over the device, including the ability to run our famous script actions against those devices. OK, very cool. Um, can we see it in action? You bet. Uh, so I'm going to start with Remote DX. Yep. So I'll share my screen here. Okay, so what we're looking at is the control of real-time console here, and we can see that we've got a bunch of user sessions that are connected in. They're doing a whole bunch of, of stuff, of just interesting stuff. And if we scroll to the right here, what we see is we actually see the client device score and all of these associated metrics on top, uh, or at least the columns on top. And each one of these um, is the information that we're pulling with this new remote DX feature. So we can see uh, just by a quick glance at the device score that we actually have some devices that are in an unhealthy state um, and we're able to judge that by their metrics that we're pulling from their remote devices. So in this particular one, this user has like a 206 millisecond LAN latency. So that's the ping to the local gateway and then 339 millisecond uh, total session latency. So that's from your data center device all the way back to your endpoint device. So the same, same sort of metric as Citrix RTT and Horizon RTT or the Citrix network latency metric, sorry. Um, and then we do internet latency where we ping the distributed Google DNS servers. Um, so these are the metrics we're pulling. We actually pull these for the iGEL devices here. I actually have a couple up here. Uh, so as I scroll to the right, we can see some more tertiary metrics. And then here's where we get to where we start pulling the operating system. And we can see we have got four iGEL devices running here. So we pull you know, a whole bunch of different metrics, uh, whether that's Wi-Fi related metrics or even local LAN uh, metrics. So you can see we've got Ethernet here and Wi-Fi. Um, and then you can see the associated uh, Wi-Fi information there as well. So we've got like the client IP and uh, what kind of network it's connected to, whether it's a WPA with a pre-shared key or WPA2 and so on and so forth. So, so kind of like remote DX is is around the whole the whole age old you know issue that we see. My my session is slow. 
and we can delve into it on on the various endpoints. Is is that kind of what you're looking at? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so we're looking at those metrics on those endpoints. Like, you know, picture this scenario. A user calls you up and they tell you, you know, they're getting poor performance, um, but they're working remote. Yeah. How do you start to troubleshoot that? You look at your data center, right? And you see all the metrics there look good. So then you get to the part where, well, is it the network connection between your uh, data center and the endpoint? Or is it something at the endpoint, the last, uh, like, 10 feet, so to speak? Um, and with this, we think we can help solve that problem. So even just looking at this, we can see one user has really high LAN latency. So that's going to bump all of his other metrics up at least that high. Mm -hmm. And so we can probably say with quite a bit of certainty that this particular user is having either an illness with his access point or with his uh, device. Um, and I can actually see in control up here that this guy is actually connected to the same Wi-Fi SSID, but he's got a different uh, BSSID. So that's the hardware address he's connected into. So we collect that information as well. So he's he's potentially connected into a completely different device. And I can very quickly make that determination that that could be causing his issue because I can see right across the line latency is high here, but not here. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that. Boom. Now we can give that user some guidance to help solve his problem. That's really useful, especially, you know, in the current situation where we are, where there are so many devices, you know, and people working remotely. So that's that's a really helpful solution. And obviously, it helps that, you know, you can do that on all endpoints, including IGL endpoints. So that's really good. So kind of moving on to um, Edge DX, are you able to show us that in a bit more detail? You bet. So uh, this is just our control up solve product. And from here now, we can start launching the different components of uh, the control up environment that I'm monitoring. And for Edge DX here, we actually offer that here on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I click on that, that'll just SSO into our Edge DX solution. And from here, what we can see is we can see all the different devices that are connected currently, where they're located from, and so on and so forth. Just that, that high-level endpoint device metric stuff that most people look for. Uh, and if I click on devices here, we'll actually get all of the devices that we're monitoring to show up here. So I actually have some IGEL devices in here, and we can see, there they are, Edge of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, they don't look like they're quite connected to the... Uh, uh, our Edge DX quite yet, but this guy's from two days ago. So let's just take a quick peek at what he's offering for data. Sure. Um, so in this particular one, we can see the location that they're in, the IGL operating system, mm -hmm. um, the version, whether it's Wi-Fi, whether it's physical device, and so on and so forth. Um, we get a list of performance data, which if I change my date range here, we'll actually get some interesting information. So let's change that to this month. And boom, there we go. So now we're pulling some interesting information from this IGL device. You know, one of the, again, the challenges of sending these devices to these remote users is when you don't have the performance data, it's like troubleshooting a black box. Sure. Um, well, Remote DX pulls some of those metrics in that we believe are relevant to the real time. And for Edge DX, uh, it's very close to real time with its uh, uh, cadence being about one minute for when it does its data check in or so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But with this, with IGEL devices, now we can actually drill in and see, you know, what was causing high CPU load. Um, was there anything that was on the device that might have been, uh, you know, slowing it down or anything like that? And then we also pulled Wi-Fi metrics as well. Um, so in this particular one, you can see that we've got one uh, process here, the K-Worker process, actually consuming the majority of the CPU on this particular spike. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Very good. And, and you said you can obviously, you know, this your script base actions are, are really famous as, as the re, you know a, a real power center of control up and you're saying the script based actions can work on, on with uh, HDX. That's right. HDX also supports running script actions against whatever devices that you might have. So uh, here we can see we've got a bunch of script actions already pre-written for this particular device to give yep. it a test. So we can do an IGL Linux agent update. We can just do a Linux agent update. Um, we can do a trace path on that remote device and so on and so forth. Uh, something that's really cool um, within Edge DX uh, is that, you know, we provide all these reports out of the box and we do our best to try to accomplish and, and cover as many um, areas as possible. But we can't always get those niche areas for what customers want. And one of the really cool things about Edge DX is by tying in script actions to pull back some piece of information, we can actually generate a completely custom report. Uh, okay. so, so, for instance, we don't track... CPU temperature out of the box, but one of our uh, employees here decided, you know what, 
I want to find out what the CPU temperature is. So he wrote a script to just query the CPU. Mm -hmm. And then we send it as an action to all these devices and it comes back with that information and then boom, we're actually able to generate a chart with it. That's very impressive. Cool. Okay. Um, so, yep, go on. Sorry. Um, just one other thing that I would like to touch on is uh, what we can offer with this particular one. Um, if I actually go into the sessions view here, uh, we can see over the last, well, today that we have one particular user who's connected in. Uh, if I change my date range, it's pretty early in the week here that we get more people. But in this particular one, I just want to show the session analyst uh, analysis that we do on these devices as well. So what's really interesting about Edge DX is because it's uh, performance-based monitoring software in addition to management software, we can capture all of the related performance information for a particular session. So this is like all the processes that have launched in this particular user's uh, essentially work session. Yep. And so we're actually able to get this information for if a user's complaining that you know they're getting poor performance, mm -hmm. um, we can see potentially it's the number of Chrome processes they have running or even like the cadence that you can see some of these services and processes run. It's just interesting information uh, to get and understand and know what's going on. You can so you can you can really drill down into into that endpoint. Yep, and, and that's what's going on for... with that the sessions they're running on it. Yep, so that's... we can see the browsers. Mm -hmm. Like, right? did they launch Firefox or Chrome for the SaaS based applications or something like that that they might have on their iGel? Yes, that's that's really good. That's excellent. Um, just in, in from an iGel perspective, um, it, the there's an agent that is installed on each endpoint, is it? Right. So for Edge DX, there is an agent that's installed. Um, we're actually coming out with a profile mm -hmm. for uh, iGel devices. So you'll be able to download this profile. I think you need to change um, essentially your tenant ID key, and then you deploy that out, and boom, there you go. So, uh, so a Edge... really, really easy solution to deploy from for, for iGel devices. Right. iGel has made managing and deploying our software uh, super, super easy. We've been you know, super impressed and happy with how that, that operates. Right, so that's, we, yeah. yeah, so we've taken advantage of that, uh, of that iGel uh, system to help distribute our software on the iGel devices just seamlessly and easily. That's really cool because, uh, as uh, you know, as as we've said, like you know, there's now all these different endpoints, including iGel ones out there, and just having that ability to to manage them and um, you know monitor them and you know push your actions to them, it, it just gives you so much power and control over um, a scenario where you know there was no control. <laughs> so it's, it's it's really good from that aspect. That's very impressive. So, um, is there anything else you want to highlight for us or? Uh, not, not particularly, sorry, just kind of just browsing around, but yeah, the software is incredibly powerful. And I feel like when you start tying it with the iGel software and the work from home or work from anywhere type of experience people have, I think that there's a really strong story here. And I think, uh, you know, we can help make each other's lives easier, so to speak. And, and the iGel, uh, software and product certainly helps, uh, you know, us get there. Yeah, no, I, 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 I think it's a, I think it's a really great partnership between our, our two companies, um, and it's, it's really impressive, as you said, you have got the integration, the, and you know, ease, ease that you have in, in, in distributing it from our perspective, and then you know, you have the power that, that you have, you guys have put in to Edge DX. So yeah, no, it's, it's a really impressive solution. So, um, I'm trying to think, uh, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, that's excellent. Thank you so much, Trenton. Welcome. Okay, that's that's been it. So, thanks very much. That was that was a really good uh, overview of um, remote DX and Edge DX. So, I'd like to thank the guys from uh, uh, Control Up uh, for their time, and uh, thanks very much. Thank you, James. Thank you.